scoring is done to get a relatively undisturbed sample of the formation from the subsurface. Conventional coring uses an assembly called a core barrel made up on the drill string and run to the bottom of the hole. The core barrel has a hollow inner tube that remains stationary while an outer tube and the drill string rotates around it. To reduce damage to the core, operators may use protective fiberglass or rubber inner sleeves. A special core bit, usually a diamond type, does the cutting. Before the coring begins, mud is pumped through the inner barrel and the bit. This is done to clean the inner barrel. To begin coring, the drilling crew drops a steel ball down the inside of the drill pipe. The ball blocks a valve at the top of the core barrel, diverting the mud flow between the inner and outer barrels and preventing fluid damage to the core. As the core barrel rotates, it cuts a cylindrical portion of rock core that is received and clamped by a gravity-operated core catcher in the inner barrel. While coring, the driller uses a low weight on bit and reduced mud flow rate to avoid damage to the core. The length of the barrel, which is usually 9 or 18 meters, limits the amount of core cut. Nowadays, with adjustable tools, coring can be done for as long as 45 meters without tripping out of hole. A complete round trip must be made to bring the core to surface. The rig crew removes the core from the core barrel by dropping it out in sections at the drill floor or by pumping it out after laying the core barrel down. 